Okay, uh, my first impression here in the town of Jimenez is that it's a very peaceful, quiet, uh, charmed little town, which is uh, quite you know, common to any towns of the Philippines. Hola chicos, muy buenos días, bienvenidos a mi canal Roberto Vagabond. I'm uh, checking out now, um, going out from this uh, hotel, and then I'll proceed uh, back to Osamis. But uh, before that, uh, we are going to pass by uh, the town of Jimenez to experience the, the heritage town of Jimenez. You know, see old buildings, uh, old church. Yeah, we will uh, find it out. And then, uh, yeah. And uh, today is, uh, see, uh, as I mentioned, I'm going back to Osamis to catch my flight back to Manila this afternoon. All right, let's go. Bus terminal. Taga. Okay, off we go then. Okay, we are now here at the terminal, uh, bus station of uh, Oroqueta City. So right behind me is the Jimenez uh, bus terminal and uh, the good thing about this province is that uh, you know Misamis Occidental or this part of Mindanao to be specific it's well connected I mean places here provinces or uh, towns by the way the towns in between are well connected by you know like a rural bus I think rural bus is a main bus company here in this part of the of the of the country let me just uh, take a short break uh, taking uh, my sugar rush coca-cola right here at this uh, local uh, bakery let me find my uh, coca-cola yeah, they have it right here it's a uh, gab's uh, bake shop and um, i would like to eat this uh, freshly baked uh, bread it's uh, hot actually hot bread Okay, uh, my first impression here in the town of Jimenez is that it's a very peaceful, quiet, uh, charm little town, which is uh, quite you know common to any towns of the Philippines, you know, uh, provincial towns. And uh, well, after all, this is a uh, you know uh, heritage town. And as you can see behind me, you'll see those uh, two uh, like colonial uh, times uh, houses. You know, and the good thing is that uh, they, they, the local government here, they were able to pres preserve this kind of uh, structures, you know, these uh, w wooden houses way back in colonial times. And uh, okay, I saw this uh, from other blogs, uh, Shanghai Noodle House. That's, uh, yeah, it's actually a, a restaurant where you can buy your snacks like uh, spring rolls, for example. Yeah, and, I've, and, and whatnot, you know, and uh, yeah, okay. And uh, the good thing about, uh, you know, as I mentioned, that they were able to preserve uh, this uh, heritage town of, uh, of uh, Jimenez, you know, like these houses. So, you know, we, we only know that uh, heritage towns in the Philippines, like for example, in Calle Real in Iloilo. Uh, what else? Calle Cresologo in Bigan, Iloco Sur. And even uh, Intramuros in Manila. And we also have it here in uh, in the town of Jimenez, as you can see. You know, and I think there are uh, other um, old houses here that only these do. Yeah, pretty amazing, you know. Like uh, uh, I I only know up to now that there's another uh, heritage town like this. Pretty cool. And uh, this must be the municipal, yeah, municipal building. Yeah, I can see it from here. Municipal Hall of uh, Jimenez, uh, Misamis Occidental. So cute, cute building. Very good looking building. Yeah, pretty decent. 
and uh, all right I can see it from here that the church but more about that later on and uh, the weather right now here in Jimenez well you know uh, in, in Misamis right now it's very hot you know sun is up it's very clear day unlike uh, the previous uh, video the previous day it was raining the whole uh, time but right now it's quite opposite so the weather is really 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 good perfect for you know excursion uh, yeah, okay by the way I'll, I'll show you now the church from this uh, from this point so that's uh, St. John the Baptist and in fact that's the one of the oldest churches here in the Philippines and I look at the structure uh, yeah dated back uh, from the colonial times this type of uh, church so let's get in okay and uh, by the entrance you'll see uh, vendors selling flowers yeah. okay look at the uh, let's make a grand entrance of this church Wow and uh, by the way uh, le leading towards the, the entrance of the church uh, you'll see this uh, tree lined uh, section here like I don't know what uh, tree is this what trees are these I think they are yeah local uh, Philippine uh, trees now, there's the parking area there so yeah pretty amazing church right yeah you know this kind of structures um, here in the Philippines like all churches or all the uh, government buildings well mostly churches uh, they are actually dated back in colonial times as I've mentioned uh, several times already and uh, these are the, the main materials uh, one of the materials being used uh, to construct this type of uh, structure are egg yolks and then coral stones you know from the nearby uh, beach nearby ocean church has just uh, the church service has just uh, finished and uh, people are going home but uh, you know new new church goers um, are coming in also for the next uh, mass okay so let's go back to these uh, old houses and um, we'll try to I don't know if they're open this Shanghai noodle house if they are open uh, let's see if we can get some food all right so the entrance is right there okay so we are here inside the Shanghai noodle house and we will try their famous um, Lumpiang Shanghai actually there are lots of options here the food, uh, food choices but uh, you know I'm, I'm not that hungry but uh, I wanna you know, I wanna try the Lumpiang Shanghai here because that's uh, one of the famous uh, food that they have here so yeah let's go check the, their menu for you to you know to see what's on the list all right so this is the menu all right so you have this uh, okay you can just uh, pause the video to you know know the tariff of each of the uh, food choices you have here yeah good all right I'll show you the the dining area do you have it here 
and they have a little garden outside <laughs> so cool so cute huh all right so while waiting for the food because uh the uh ate uh the staff told me that it will take uh, 15 minutes to you know uh, prepare the whole uh, process of lumpiang shanghai so okay yeah that's uh, again that's uh this is the name shanghai noodle house national jimenez misamis occidental okay uh, buy one take one kambal pizza what is that all right oh yeah there's this uh house again this amazing cool houses old houses here in uh, misamis occidental oh it's a uh, karinderia okay let's head back now back to the bus terminal and let's uh, catch a bus going to Usamis. Let's go. Okay, I'm now here back at the Jimenez bus terminal and let's uh, get this bus going back to Usamis. I think this one right here. Passengers are waiting. This must be the bus. Let's go. I think it is. I thought that's going to Usamis, but no, it's going to Dipolo. Uh, heading back to Zamish because I missed the first one and luckily this uh, second time around uh, there are still some spaces so off we go all right so I'm back in uh, Osamish city well uh, here in bus terminal of uh, Osamish right here okay uh, wow <laughs> We still have uh, enough time to, you know, to go to the airport. I mean, before my flight documents. Let me just uh, have my lunch here before uh, heading back to the airport. Let's get in. Hey, good morning. Hi, uh, isang uh, sorry, gana ba? Isang uh, pecho, grilled pecho, at saka, yeah, dining, at saka halo-halo dining. Yeah. Alright, so I just ordered my lunch, which is uh, chicken breast, the grilled chicken breast, or we call it uh, chicken pecho. And also, uh, I ordered uh, one halo-halo, and I'll show it to you how it looks like uh, the halo-halo here. And it's, uh, in fact, one of the best halo-halos uh, uh, I've tried. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show it to you once uh, the food arrives. Finally, after like a 15 minutes wait, my food has arrived. Uh, it doesn't matter because I still have much uh, more time here. All right, I'll show you uh, the food that I ordered. So this is the chicken breast or pecho, of course with the rice. And then, uh, all right, they are halo halo. This is actually the best, one of the best halo halos we have here in the country actually yeah that's uh, really true so uh, i'll dig in this one later after uh, eating this okay all right uh, let's, let me just uh, enjoy my lunch first okay? back here in Osami city airport there you go all right let's get in let me prepare my uh, ticket and my uh, identification card I think this one right here entrance and there you go let's get in all right I'm now here inside the, the boarding gate area anyway it's just a very small uh, airport terminal and actually that was the quickest uh, check-in process I did. Well, I, I did it online, so it was just like uh, two minutes dashing towards here inside the terminal. So yeah, I'm heading now back to, you know, going home, back to Manila. So guys, thank you so much for coming with me in this uh, 
uh, this Amis Occidental uh, adventure. So yeah, and see you in the next video. Huh? And then uh, if you like this video, please uh, let me know by clicking the like button and subscribe down below. And don't forget to uh, click the notification bell. See you on the next adventure, which will be in Negros Oriental. Bye for now.